Our food choices have dramatic consequences for the environment. Reducing or eliminating the consumption of animal products is one of the most powerful ways an individual can reduce his or her carbon footprint. And what we put into our grocery bags at the store actually has more environmental impact than whether we remember to bring a reusable shopping bag or whether we drove a hybrid to the store. Animal agriculture is directly or partially responsible for many of the world's most serious environmental problems. Global warming, water use and pollution, uh, massive energy consumption, deforestation, loss of biodiversity and species, as well as uh, the deep impact of fishing on our oceans. When it comes to global warming, farmed animals and their byproducts are responsible for 51% of the annual worldwide human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than half. Replacing animal products with plant-based foods would be the best strategy for reversing climate change, and this would reduce emissions even more than the actions that we're taking now to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Committee looked into the global impact of animal agriculture and they found that farming animals emits more greenhouse gases than all of the world's transportation. That's all automobiles, planes, trains, all carbon emitting transportation combined. So when we're contemplating how to significantly reduce our carbon footprint, we may think about driving less or getting a more fuel efficient vehicle. And while that's certainly helpful, um, you can really have impact uh, by reducing or eliminating animal products from your diet. A recent study from the University of Chicago found that consuming no animal products is 50% more effective at fighting global warming than switching from a standard car to a hybrid. Producing animal products wastes um, uh, enormous amounts of energy and fossil fuel and emits greenhouse gases in the process. And then you throw in the destruction of the Amazon rainforest for cattle grazing and you have just a serious recipe for, uh, for climate change. To raise and process animals into animal products ravages vast amounts of fossil fuel, natural gas and other forms of power. Massive amounts of energy are wasted on the artificial environment of the factory farm, slaughterhouse, processing plant. These indoor industries have an energy drain of lighting, heating, refrigeration, conveyor belts, milking machines, uh, the mechanized slaughtering process. Comparing that to the consumption of energy used in organic farming, growing grains or vegetables, it's minimal. It takes eight times as much fossil fuel to produce animal foods as it takes to produce plant foods. So when we think about eating green, we often think about locally produced food as being the most ecological choice. But a closer look at production and distribution mechanisms for local animal products, it really reveals that they are far from being the green superstars that many of the local food movement believe them to be. And while buying regionally grown food uh, is usually good for decreasing greenhouse gas emissions, choosing a plant-based product over an animal product reduces our environmental impact even more. Local animal products have far more environmental impact than, say, a tomato imported from another country. There's more to assessing the ecological consequence of a food um, than where it was grown or produced. The total production effect, as well as the energy and water needed to produce that food, must be taken into account. When gauging the carbon footprint of a food, transportation, or, or how local the food is, is only about 11% of the equation, while production is a stunning 83% and animal products are incredibly intensive on production. A 2008 study in the Journal of Environmental Science and Technology found that shifting just two meals a week from meat products to a vegan diet reduces more greenhouse gases than buying all locally sourced food. So the next time you're assessing a food's ecological footprint, be sure to remember organic is important, local is good, but vegan is best. A plant-based diet is by far the most ecological dietary choice that we can make.